PHP allows us to develop client-server applications. Calling the stream socket server function returns a resource that represents a server socket. Server socket is kind of a small server that can wait for a request to arrive from a client. Once we get the server circuit resource, we can pass it over when calling the function stream socket accept. This function receives the server socket resource and waits for a request that should arrive from a client, a request to connect. Let's take a look at the client. Here we have a call to the stream socket client function. Uh, this function, when we execute it, underneath a request is sent to the server. A request to connect is sent to the server. If the server succeeds to accept that request and everything works as planned, then we get into dollar socket variable a resource that represents a socket. At the same time, on the client, we also get a socket, a resource, which is a socket. So when the client starts running and the server we assume it is already up and running when this function is executed a request is sent to the server if the server accepts that request then this function returns a resource that represents a socket and at the same time here on the server we also get a resource that is a socket. Once we have a socket on the server and a socket on the client and those two sockets are connected with each other, we can start send data from each one of the uh, application as well as receive data the other send. Let's take a look and see what happens. After the socket is created on the server, we can see an, a call to execute the function if write. Uh, this call tries to write this specific data through the socket on the server to the client. If it succeeds, this data is successfully sent and arrive to the client and the client can read it. Let's execute this code sample. Let's first start with executing the server. If we move to the PHP debug perspective, we can see the server up and running. Now, let's execute the client. Voila! We can see that the client received from the server this specific text. We can execute the client again. And again. The server is still up and running. The server, as it seems, has an infinite loop that can handle consequently more and more requests to connect from other clients.